what is up good people welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi what's up hello my name is Alex I go by the corporate finesser and this channel is for women who are new business owners finessing gracefully along the way you probably clicked on this because you have had issues with your registration marks for your t-shirts using your silhouette cameo say no more sis I got you I'm going to show you how you can master your registration marks each time using your silhouette cameo 4 if you have a 3 or the 4 plus either way this method will work for you so let's get right into it okay friends so before I jump into the silhouette studio to show you like the tutorial I wanted to just share with you the items that you'll need to make this a successful print and cut so for t-shirts there's like this magical transfer paper out there and this is the one that I have I got it off Amazon and this is specifically for like lighter color t-shirts so like white sand pink all of that jazz so this is what you'll need and I'll be happy to leave the description of this item in the box below of course your lovely silhouettes I have the cameo 4 it's my baby I really like it never had a cricket so I really don't know like what to compare this to what I also suggest is this little spatula I actually got this from Michaels if it focuses and this comes in handy when it comes to scraping off the design um, I don't suggest using your fingers just because sometimes if you don't know like your own strength and your grip you don't want to cut your design that you just printed so just wanted to suggest that you have like a some type of spatula or scraper so it can make it easier for you and of course your heat press or an iron because you can achieve this um, design with the iron so if you don't have a heat press totally okay you can definitely start off well with an iron but if you do then great more power to you alrighty I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my laptop to show you how to properly make sure you get your registration marks great and completed each time okay you guys so now it is time to actually create the design or import it most likely you'll probably import it from your files because this is a graph that I got from the internet so that's what I'm going to do so as you can see here a few things I wanted to touch on before I get into it so what I typically do because I know that the transfer paper is um, 8.5 by like 11 for the dimensions I think I always set my actual canvas to the exact size another reason I do that is because you just want to make sure that you just have like a good size for your design too so whenever I start off and I know I want a graphic I just go ahead and make my width 8 and then my height 11 cool so I'm gonna go ahead and import my design by pressing command um I think it's command letter O, not command zero. Cool, here is my design. I'm gonna press okay. Alrighty, so it's super big. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of shrink it down a little bit. And the reason why I'm putting it in the center is because I've done this a few times before. And once I add my registration marks, I can kind of tell like where the registration marks and the cutoff will be so for an example I know you guys can't see it right now but if you can just imagine once I add the registration marks all of this will be covered and also some areas over here to the side so I just make sure like I just visually can count that so that way I don't have to like start over so this looks pretty good to me I'm gonna go ahead and start tracing it the reason why you want to start tracing it is because that's what the actual silhouette studio is going to cut. As you guys saw in the beginning, I started with a fresh canvas. And what I also want to point out, how you can become very successful at your registration marks for your actual like t-shirt designs, is to make sure in your studio, you don't have any other tabs open. The only tab that you probably should have open is the one that you're actually on and using. So. Just another tip for you, uh, and the reason why I wanted to share that is because with playing around with making sure I can master the registration marks, I like figured out the more tabs I had open, it was just causing issues with making sure it caught the registration marks. I don't know why, but thankfully I discovered that, so I just wanted to share that with you guys, and you know, whenever you start making your designs, just always keep one tab open. I just wanted to share this with you guys so that way you know when you are creating your design 
Try not to have a lot of designs like added, like you have like multiple pages open because that won't really make your print and cut design successful and the machine might miss your registration marks. So moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and select this little um, icon over here, open the trace panel, kind of looks like a little, I don't know, like a little emoji or something. I'm gonna select trace. I'm gonna select select trace area. And I am just going to cover the entire image. I missed a little bit at the tip here. All right, cool. So as you guys can see, according to the image that I got from Google, it's not tracing this like little crescent area. No big deal, easy fix. What I'm gonna do to help that is to increase my threshold. So I'm gonna go over here in my right hand pane and just kind of like slide this over to where you literally don't even notice it anymore. Cool, now it's completely covered and I'm just gonna select trace because I'm just wanting to trace this outer edge or more specifically cut this outer edge once I print it off from the machine. I'm gonna select trace. After you select trace, try not to move this design. I know you might wanna see it just to make sure it traced, but believe me when I tell you that it does. And if you do move it, it's no big deal. I just wanted to point that out because when you move this design, this is another thing that could also mess up the design of how the actual silhouette cameo is gonna pick up your registration. Once you trace it, kinda of just leave it be because you don't wanna mess up the process of the machine not picking up your registration marks and the machine also not cutting the actual design in the right alignment. So after you've done all that cool stuff for your design, you've added it, you've you know shrunk it down or made it larger for the actual size that you would like for your t-shirt, you've traced it, now it's time to add the registration mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to my first icon here, just open up the page setup panel, and in this top row, the last option here, registration marks, that's what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and select on. And as you guys can see here, kind of what I was talking about earlier, the reason why I knew the when the image um, imported from my files and it was too big, it would have been outside of these markings. And I don't want that. So I just made it smaller to fit. It looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like this, not move it, not do anything, all is well. But what I'm going to do just to ensure that the machine is gonna pick up my registration marks, I'm gonna go over here back to my page setup panel and select restore defaults. Now, it might be silly, you know, like, oh, why are you pressing restore defaults when you haven't really moved anything? I know it makes total sense to ask that because I asked that myself, but for some reason, you just wanna make sure that the system knows that the registration marks are what they're supposed to be, meaning I didn't mess with the length, I didn't, make with, I didn't mess with the thickness, so I'm gonna just go ahead and select restore defaults. I've already selected it, so I'm not gonna do it again. These are tips that I learned on how to successfully make sure I have my registration marks perfect each and every time. So I already selected restore defaults, and now I'm gonna go ahead and send this to the printer. Hey friends! So if you are enjoying this content so far, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed, liked, and commented to join the Finesse community. Alright, thank you. Let's go back into the video. Alright you guys, so now it is time to send this design to the Silhouette Cameo. So that's what I'm about to do. So, here we are in the send, I guess the send view. <laughs> um, I went ahead and I made this design before so my system already picked up that I'm using the same type of heat transfer printable paper which is light fabric because I'm going to be pressing this on a white shirt. However, I want to change a few things because I just want to make sure that the cut is just very um, deep and I don't have to run it through again. So as far as your actual like source options, depending on if you're using dark or light fabric, 
that's going to be of course your discretion because it's all about what you want to use but just to find that you can select the drop down and you can change it from light to dark if you're using either or so I'm using light so I'm going to go ahead and click out now I'm not a fan of how low the force is and how low the actual like cut is I don't know I forgot what this is called so I'm going to change it I'm going to go ahead and increase my actual like tool I'm going to increase it to five and that just makes me feel good it makes me feel like that it's really going to cut through the paper and then my force I'm going to go ahead and kind of up that to 12 and I'm just going to leave it at that and so now I'm going to go ahead and switch off to show you guys how this is going to cut so that way you can see the successful print and cut design of this red heart hey friends okay I'm back so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this is going to print out perfectly but one thing I did forget to mention so I do apologize is that you want to make sure your lighting is bomb so when I say bomb I mean you want to make sure that you have really pigmented lighting in this room that I'm actually in as you guys can see it's not the brightest and it's also about to get dark outside so for me just the extra light reinforcement I'm just using my ring light ring light <laughs> I got this from Amazon and so because I know that the sensor really needs light to pick up this first registration mark I just wanted to make sure I added that so I've placed my sheet on my cutting mat I made sure I just aligned it correctly if you guys can see that let's see it Alright you guys, so as you saw the system cut that perfectly, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I go ahead and scrape it off here. So again, using this spatula, I'm going to go ahead and just gently scrape off the white paper, like just the blank white paper. Can you guys see see that I'm gonna put it on the shirt so you guys can see the finished product but you can see here how the lines are so smooth I don't have any jagged edges or anything because I upped that force like I was telling y'all about and so all right let me go ahead and press it on the shirt for you so you can see just to show you an, an example of what it looks like after you press it I went ahead and added my shirt to my swing press if you haven't washed already I will probably add it here but I do show you guys how you use your swing heat press if you're a beginner and you really don't know like what you're doing or how to get started I have a video on my channel about that so check that out if you're interested here's my heart that I scraped off okay just kind of pat it make sure it's just flat so because this is not heat transfer vinyl this is literally heat transfer paper there still needs to be a layer of protection so one thing that you will get when you get the um, let me show you real quick when you purchase this if you happen to purchase this brand they um, include these little like um, tissue paper sheets like this and so always make sure that you cover your design before you press it because you don't want to burn it I think the direct heat exposure can kind of like mess up the color and the the design itself so I just wanted to share that with y'all just to make sure that you protect your design 
by covering it with the tissue paper. And now I'm gonna go ahead and think this is a little bit too far out, so I'm just gonna slide it, slide it in so it's underneath the plate. Okay, I'm gonna press it. You guys, I just struggled because I'm not left-handed. <laughs> It's easier lifting it, but pressing it with one hand is a bit of a struggle. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my time and just peel this off. Ooh, look how pretty. Let me bring my ring light over here so y'all can see a little bit brighter. Is that bright enough? Okay, look at that. It's really smooth, so you'll have a smooth finish. If you wanted to, you can also layer like words on top. Just always make sure you use your Teflon sheet um, that'll come with your swing press if you purchase this particular one. You can definitely layer, you know, more words on top. You can put another heart here if you like. But I hope this was really helpful to, so you guys can see the start to finish process on adding a graphic design using the print and cut method and how to master your registration marks. All right, y'all, so I hope that was really helpful. I was so happy when I discovered those few little tips and tricks that I shared with y'all on how you can master registration marks, you know, revamp up your brand and your designs if you like. As always, don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and choose yourself first, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out.